The Dubai Miracle Garden is a flower garden located in the district of Dubai Land, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The garden was launched on Valentine's Day in 2013. The garden occupies over 72,000 square meters, making it the world's largest natural flower garden, featuring over 50 million flowers and 250 million plants. In April 2015, the garden was awarded the Macell Award for New Garden Experiences of the Year by the Garden Tourism Award 2015. Dubai Museum is the main museum in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It is located in the Al Fahidi Fort, built in 1787 and is the oldest existing building in Dubai. The museum was opened by the ruler of Dubai in 1971, with the aim of presenting the traditional way of life in the Emirate of Dubai. When entering, one can see the fort constructed and the various displays that go along with it. From the fort, there is a path to the galleries, which display the general culture of the land, especially in the 1800s. It includes local antiques as well as artifacts from African and Asian countries that traded with Dubai. It also includes several dioramas showing life in the emirate before the advent of oil, in addition to artifacts from recent discoveries as old as 3000 BC. In 2007, Dubai Museum received 1,800 visitors daily, with a yearly total of 611,840. In March 2008, the museum had 80,000 visitors. The most popular times are from August to April. The museum received over 1 million visitors in the year 2013. The total area of Dubai Museum is 4,000 square meters. Dubai Opera is a 2,000-seat multi-format performing arts center, which is located within the Opera District in downtown Dubai. It was developed by Emmer Properties to host a variety of performances and events including theater, opera, ballet, concerts, conferences and exhibitions. Its plans were announced by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum in March 2012, and it was completed in 2016. It opened on 31 August 2016, with a performance by Placido Domingo. The first season featured visits the Pearl Fisher's Opera and also the legendary tenor Jose Carreras. Dubai Opera have flat floor capacity of 1,800 square meters. This floor can be hired for weddings, gala dinners, fashion shows and exhibitions. Dubai Safari Park is an eco-friendly safari park located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The park's major source of energy is solar energy. The park is located on Al Warqa 5 on the Hadda Road. The park has 2,500 animals from more than 250 species. The park replaced the Dubai Zoo on its 50th anniversary. The park plans to increase the animal number to 5,000 by 2020. On May 15, 2018, the park closed for renovations and improvements and remained closed for the next nine months. IMG Worlds of Adventure is an indoor amusement park in the United Arab Emirates in Dubai. It is Dubai's first mega-themed entertainment destination. The park is divided into five epic zones. Two of the five zones represent global brands Cartoon Network and Marvel, while IMG Boulevard and the Lost Valley Dinosaur Adventure Zones are original concepts created by the IMG Group. Novo Cinema is the fifth section of IMG Worlds of Adventure, and agreement was signed between Novo Cinema and IMG World of Adventure in May 2015. IMG Worlds of Adventure is the largest temperature-controlled indoor-themed entertainment destination in the world, covering an area in excess of 1.5 million square feet. With the capacity to welcome more than 20,000 guests a day, the destination features roller coasters, thrill rides, and other attractions based on popular Cartoon Network characters, iconic Marvel superheroes and animatronic dinosaurs. Other facilities include a variety of themed retail stores and dining venues, and a 12-screen Novo Cinema complex. IMG Worlds of Adventure is situated within City of Arabia, along Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road. Legoland Dubai is a family theme park in Dubai. It opened on October 31, 2016. It is the first Legoland park in the Middle East and was the seventh worldwide. The park was originally scheduled to open in 2011 in Dubailand as Legoland Dubailand, but was then delayed until October 2016 and is now located at Dubai Parks and Resorts as Legoland Dubai. The park is designed for families with children from ages 2 to 12 years old. The park also provides a variety of rides and activities. 
Like many other Legoland theme parks, Dubai's includes a mini land where over 20 million Lego bricks are used to create 15,000 miniature models of different landmarks and structures around the world. Madinat Jumeirah The Arabian Resort, Dubai is a five-star resort in Dubai. It is the largest resort in the Emirate, spreading across over 40 hectares of landscapes and gardens. It is designed to resemble a traditional Arabian town. The resort comprises three boutique hotels and a courtyard of 29 summer houses called Jumeirah Dar al Masyaf. The resort has over 50 restaurants and bars. Mall of the Emirates is a shopping mall in Dubai. Developed and owned by Majid Al Fudum Properties, it opened in November 2005 and is located at Interchange 4 on Sheikh Zayed Road. The multi level shopping mall currently features more than 630 retail outlets, 7,900 parking spaces, over 100 restaurants and cafes, 80 luxury stores, and 250 flagship stores. It has a total gross leasable area of 255,489 square meters. It also hosts family leisure activities, including Ski Dubai, the 500 seat capacity Dubai Community Theater and Art Center, and Magic Planet, one of the largest indoor family entertainment centers in Dubai. In November 2005, it was named the world's leading new shopping mall at the World Travel Awards in London. In 2017, Forbes named Mall of the Emirates as one of the top five shopping malls in Dubai. Ski Dubai is an indoor ski resort with 22,500 square meters of indoor ski area. The park maintains a temperature of minus 1 degree to 2 degrees Celsius throughout the year. It is a part of the Mall of the Emirates, one of the largest shopping malls in the world, located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It was developed by Majid Al Fudum Group, which also operates the Mall of the Emirates. Opened in November 2005, the indoor resort features an 85-meter-high indoor mountain with five slopes of varying steepness and difficulty, including a 400-meter-long run, the world's first indoor black diamond run, and various features that are changed on a regular basis. A quad lift and a tow lift carry skiers and snowboarders up the mountain. Equipment such as skis and jackets are provided with the ticket, and one can buy equipment in the nearby stores. Adjoining the slopes is a 3,000 square meter snow park play area comprising sled and toboggan runs, an icy body slide, climbing towers, giant snowballs and an ice cave. Ski Dubai also houses a number of penguins who are let out of their enclosures several times a day. The Dubai Fountain is a choreographed fountain system located on the 12-hectare man-made Burj Khalifa Lake, at the center of the downtown Dubai development in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It was designed by Wet Design, a California-based company also responsible for the fountains at the Bellagio Hotel Lake in Las Vegas. Illuminated by 6,600 lights and 50 colored projectors, it is 275 meters long and shoots water up to 500 feet into the air accompanied by a range of classical to contemporary Arabic and world music. It was built at a cost of 800 million. The name of the fountain, was chosen after a contest organized by the developer Emmer Properties, the result of which was announced on 26 October 2008. Testing of the fountain began in February 2009, and the fountain was officially inaugurated on 8 May 2009 along with the official opening ceremony of the Dubai Mall. The World or the World Islands is an archipelago of small artificial islands constructed in the shape of a world map. Located in the waters of the Persian Gulf, 4.0 kilometers off the coast of Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The world islands are composed mainly of sand dredged from Dubai's shallow coastal waters and are one of several artificial island developments in Dubai. The world's developer is Nakil Properties, and the project was originally conceived by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai. The construction was done by two Dutch specialist companies, Van Oort and Boskalis. The same companies also created the Palm Jumeirah. Construction of the 300 islands began in 2003, before halting due to the 2008 financial crisis. Though 60% of the islands were sold to private contractors in 2008, development on most of the islands has failed to initiate. As of July 2012, Lebanon Island was developed and was the only island that had so far been developed commercially, being used for private corporate events and public parties. As of late 2013, only two of the islands had been developed.
The Wild Wadi Water Park is an outdoor water park in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Situated in the area of Jumeirah, next to the Burj Al Arab and the Jumeirah Beach Hotel, the water park is operated by Jumeirah International, a Dubai-based hotelier. Wild Wadi has a heated cooled wave pool, multiple water slides and two artificial surfing machines. In addition, the park had the largest water slide outside of North America, but it has since been removed to make space for two other rides. Another feature of the park is an 18 meters waterfall that goes off every 10 minutes. The water park also has two gift shops, three restaurants and two snack stands. It was featured in The Amazing Race 5 and The Amazing Race Asia 1, in which teams had to slide down a 21 meters drop. It was later featured in The Amazing Race Australia 2, but instead, the teams had to ride the surf machine and use boogie boards to surf their way to the end where they got their next clue. The Burj Al Arab is a five-star hotel located in the city of Dubai, United Arab Emirates. One of the tallest hotels in the world, it is the seventh tallest, although 39% of its total height is made up of non-occupiable space. Burj Al Arab stands on an artificial island 280 meters from Jumeirah Beach and is connected to the mainland by a private curving bridge. The shape of the structure is designed to resemble the sail of a ship. It has a helipad near the roof at a height of 210 meters above ground. The Burj Khalifa, known as the Burj Dubai prior to its inauguration in 2010, is a skyscraper in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. With a total height of 829.8 meters and a roof height of 828 meters, the Burj Khalifa has been the tallest structure and building in the world since its topping out in 2009. Construction of the Burj Khalifa began in 2004, with the exterior completed five years later in 2009. The primary structure is reinforced concrete. The building was opened in 2010 as part of a new development called Downtown Dubai. It is designed to be the centerpiece of large-scale, mixed-use development. The decision to construct the building is based on the government's decision to diversify from an oil-based economy and for Dubai to gain international recognition. The building was originally named Burj Dubai, but was renamed in honor of the ruler of Abu Dhabi and President of the United Arab Emirates, Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Abu Dhabi, and the UAE government lent Dubai money to pay its debts. The building broke numerous height records, including its designation as the tallest building in the world. The Dubai Frame is an architectural landmark in Zabil Park, Dubai. It has been described by the Guardian newspaper as the biggest picture frame on the planet, however is also controversial as the biggest stolen building of all time. The project was conceived by Fernando Donis and selected as the winner of a design competition by the government of Dubai. It is alleged that the designer had his intellectual property stolen and was denied credit for the design. It holds the record for the largest frame in the world. The Dubai Mall is a shopping mall in Dubai. It is the second largest mall by total land area and the 26th largest shopping mall in the world by gross leasable area, tying with West Edmonton Mall and Fashion Island, both of which are older than it. It has a total retail floor area of 502,000 square meters. Located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, it is part of the $20 billion downtown complex and includes over 1,200 shops. In 2011, it was the most visited building on the planet, attracting over 54 million visitors each year. Access to the mall is provided via Doha Street, rebuilt as a double-decker road in April 2009. Twice delayed, Dubai Mall opened on 4 November 2008, with about 1,000 retailers, marking the world's second-largest ever mall opening in retail history behind West Edmonton Mall. However, it does not have the most gross leasable space and is surpassed in that category by 19 malls including the New South China Mall, which is the world's largest golden resources mall, SM City North Edsa, and SM Mall of Asia, 